Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm coming at you with a review of this gorgeous little Mulberry coin pouch and I'll also show you what fits inside. This is a very versatile little SLG and it can be used in a number of different ways. So I'll show you a couple of those ways um, and different options in this video. First, um, let me just give a quick overview of this. So this is in the classic mulberry small grained leather. It is in the ox blood color and this comes out each season um, in a number of different colors. But this one has the gold embossing, mulberry England there on the front. On the back, you have got a card slot, which is very handy indeed. And then a leather zip with a um, leather pull tab there. On the interior, and I've got coins in here at the moment, but it is a smooth leather lining. I want to say it's calf leather, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's a soft, smooth leather in this midnight blue contrast. And then you've got the gold embossing there with the mulberry tree. And it's just a very beautifully designed little pouch. This is technically, I think, branded as a coin purse or coin pouch. Um, but as I say, can be used in a number of ways. I've had this for um, about two or three years possibly now. Um, I've used this quite a bit. It's not one that I use every day. Um, it tends to be when I want to carry coins around that I might use it a bit more, or sometimes I will put the cards in and use this as my entire purse, but definitely not an everyday item. However, I have used it quite a bit. So let's look at the wear and tear first on this. And it's held up super nicely. I'm honestly just trying to find any wear on this, but I can't see any at all. Even on the corners, they've um, not lost their colour at all. It's not been scratched. Potentially, I imagine um, over time, this gets a bit more shiny just because of the oils on um, my fingers. But it's not something that I can notice here. But if I compared it against a brand new one, it may be more noticeable. But other than that, this is held up beautifully and the leather is very durable and it's like this with the majority of mulberry bags where they use this small grained leather or they also um, have the heavy grained leather, but both I find to be very durable. The zip is super smooth, but it's not one which is very um, light and easy, so it feels very secure. And then on the inside, no wear and tear that I can see, but as it's quite dark down the inside, it is more difficult to notice in any case. What's lovely about a darker lining is if you do put coins and cash in here, it's not noticeable that it gets dirty. So you can just use it pretty um, in a carefree way and not have to worry about any damage to the purse. So nothing really to report on that I can see at all in terms of wear and tear. Um, I think the functionality of this piece is so great because you've got the coin section down the top and this purse is just wider than cards so you can fit a number of cards in here. And then you also have this separate card pocket at the back for your most used card or that's where I put my most used card which is my credit card and it just means it's very easy to access that card because the majority of times I'm paying for things with that card and it's only if I ever really need any additional cards or coins and cash that I can open this um, and have a little rummage inside. Oops, sorry about that. Um, camera shaking. Um, so that's it for an overview of this purse and my thoughts on it. Now let me show you a couple of different ways you can use this. So um, firstly, the way I use this is mostly for coins. And then as I mentioned, I'd put my most used card in the back here. So I'll just grab a random card here and you can actually fit two or three. Let's have a look. Let me try and put another two cards in the back here. And that works as well, but of course it just makes it a little bit tighter um, and a little more difficult to access. So I do just put my main card in there and then usually I just keep this for coins and cash. This is if I'm just popping out to the supermarket very quickly. So um, I know I only just need the one card, but let me show you um, what this looks like with a few more cards in. 
So here I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards, um, which is a lot of cards. And I think you'd struggle to use more cards in one day or one trip out. And I'll just show you that that goes in with no issue at all. Oh, it's just sitting on some coins at the moment. But in terms of the width, that is no problem. And you could fit quite a few more cards in, I would say. And apologies, this is just sitting on top of the coins at the moment. But of course, if you didn't have the coins in at the bottom, then um, this would be much easier to do. Um, but that zips up with no problem. So in total, I've got 13 cards here and I've got quite a bit of change inside as well. And it's just such a nifty little piece to carry around and go to the shops with. So that's what it can look like if you want to use this as a purse. You can also, um, for example, keep the coins in there and use this as a key pouch, which is a popular way of using these little pouches here because that just keeps this from um, your keys from scratching other items in your bag. And it's just very easy to pull out as well. Um, now let me take the coins out. Oh, there's quite a lot. This is literally just all the coins I have at the moment. Let me just put that down. And you can use this oops, as a mini catch-all as well. So I've got a couple of lip products here. I've got a lip balm from L'Occitane is a very lovely nourishing lip balm. I have a lipstick from Estee Lauder. This is in the shade 410 Dynamic Envy. This is my go-to lipstick. And you can drop those inside with no problem. And then I have also here got a very um, compact hand sanitizer, which of course we need these days going out and that also fits. And then I've just got a little hair clip here in case you want to pull your hair back from your face. And I think that will all fit. Yeah, a little bit of a tight squeeze there with the clip, but all of that does fit inside. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting the clip in actually. It's just a little tight for that. But you can see it can fit a few little smaller items. If you had anything like plasters, that would fit in without a problem, any chewing gum, mints, things like that can fit in this very nicely. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you found that enjoyable and useful. If you are considering getting a little coin pouch of sorts, then I'd highly recommend the Mulberry one. As I say, it's very durable. The leather is so soft and it feels very luxurious, particularly because of the smooth leather lining. And I think it's just a beautiful little piece to have in your bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments down in the comments box. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you.